So with wrongful termination these days with a 3.8% unemployment rate, which they're saying is the lowest since 1969, an important year for me, I won't say why, it's kind of not a lot of lost wages, though, in these wrongful termination cases unless the person has a disability. <clears throat> we tried to cover that a little bit on that crazy show about the hick, and if you want to go back to old episodes, she was like the person on the forable board. You can go to Carl Gerber with a K on YouTube. We're getting enormous traction there on the 20 other sound-sharing sites we're on for these shows, KBC website, SoundCloud, iTunes, whatever your fancy is. So um, the value of these cases is different depending on the quality of the evidence, the employer, and the way you get the really big money is obviously punitive damages. But punitive damages only come up if the person doing the bad act is an officer, director, or managerial agent. Managerial agents and companies are people that make corporate-wide company policy. They're not necessarily just the manager of the store, but if that manager of the store makes ad hoc policy, then it might bind them. But without punitive damages, you know, you're looking at lost wages, which these days sometimes are not a lot unless it's an older person who's highly paid and maybe doesn't have the right education, isn't going to find another job. And of course, emotional distress, which is a varying amount, but is worth more if there's been treatment. I threatened to talk about wrongful termination. And so I guess I should briefly. Wrongful termination is a tort. It's not just wrongful. And it means that the person complained about something illegal, and that is why they are being fired. And so there are limited circumstances in California for wrongful termination. The employee's beliefs that their employer acted illegally or suspiciously have to be reasonable. That's a fight in these cases sometimes. So. That's something we can help you out with. In wrongful termination, there needs to be an end to the employment. Sometimes there's a formal end, like you're fired. At other times, it's we're not going to call you back to work for a really extended time. At a certain point, you know, you got the message, you've been fired. So um, wrongful termination is what gets a lot of people to call on the phone at 877-525-0700, which is my office's number, 877-525-0700 for my firm. That's 877-525-0700. I've done over 800, 1,850 separate employee cases and tens of thousands if you count class actions and a lot more if you count group cases just in California. And I'm not the only one there. I obviously have lawyers who work for me. But um, the thing is, it's at will in California. <clears throat> so you can be fired for any reason <clears throat> unless that reason is an illegal reason, which would be things like race discrimination, complaining about something as we talked about, stuff like that. 